Hi everybody, Natalie Wainwright, exclusive tenant rep in Las Vegas. It's a Friday night. They say not to post on Friday, but I'm doing it. I had a couple experiences this week that I wish I would have learned younger in my career. Um, so I'm making this video primarily for those that are younger in their career and they want some advice. Um, so, so here we go. Uh, you know, I want you guys to start your career the way you intend to finish. And there's so many things that we think once I make it, once I make, see yourself as you make it. And so when you're dealing with a client that doesn't trust you, now trust is earned and you build trust. I understand that. But if you're with a client that inherently does not trust anything you say, and it's like climbing up a hill, it is my recommendation, and I'm sure many in our CRE fam's recommendation, that you end that relationship. And I'll tell you why because you're spinning your wheels and you are, you're leveraging your relationships and your time and everything else to get that company's deal done. And if they're not responsive in time, they're questioning everything you're doing and it, it's not moving along the way it's supposed to, a lot of things could go wrong um, and you just don't want that. Move on to the clients because 99% of your clients are going to trust you and your advice. That's why they come to you. That's why you're hired and you're engaged on the real estate transaction. So we all attract them at some point. Um, I had one a few weeks ago that didn't trust me the entire time. I uh, tried to kill with kindness, try to have as much data as I could provide. And it was a very bad, very bad. It was just very bad. Spoke over me, knew everything. And you just get to a point where this is this we're not getting anywhere. Um, so my recommendation is if you have a client that does not trust you and that that business relationship and kindly recommend them to somebody else. Um, it might be there's a plethora of reasons why that might be. It could be cultural. It could be something else. Not your problem. Just move on. Now, the second one's a big one. And I wish that there was more mentorship in this business. So I'm going to be your de facto mentor. OK. Natalie the mentor for everybody. Um, and it's a biggie. So I um, had a big intake call and I was really excited. I am a deal junkie, okay? But this was an exciting one. It was a large class A gaming company. So I get the team on the phone. We got our CRM open. I already had the company in my CRM, including the decision makers. Um, I'd been tracking them for a while. So I was very excited. Um, and we get on the call, we go through the whole thing, listen to what they want. Their timing is super aggressive because they waited until the 11th hour. I like a challenge. That's fine. Um, and it was a great call and it ends with, you know, Natalie, this is great. I just want to, you like my man voice. I just want to let you know, um, that we're not going to be working with your team exclusively. And there was like a little bit of a silence cause I had to like pull my thoughts together. Um, and I just said, Hey, would you mind clarifying? And um, he said, yeah, I have a lot of relationships in town and, you know, we, if we, we're just not going to be exclusive to you. And so I tried to, you know, I tried to let him know, okay, well, this is, this is what we bring to the table and this is why it's important to work with us. And this is why it would be great if you worked with us exclusively and blah, blah. And, you know, I could tell we just weren't jiving on that fact. And um, he reiterated that he was not going to be exclusive. Now. I don't make people sign exclusive, so let's make sure that that's clear. I didn't present an exclusive, he let me know, and you're, you maybe you present an exclusive. If a client will not commit to you, do not take them on. Now this was a large class A client, I really, really, really wanted it. Now in my younger days, I would have been like, I'm gonna prove it to you and I'm gonna get this deal. No, 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 don't do that. I kindly had to turn down the, the, the client. There's no chance. You will spin your wheels, you'll run surveys, you'll tour them, you'll put out proposals. They're gonna know somebody on some board. They're gonna have a friend that owns a building. They're gonna have to do them a favor and go tour it. You're gonna tour them. You're gonna put out a proposal. They're gonna end up putting, taking your name and letterhead off your proposals and submitting it on a building that somebody else owns because now they know how to do a proposal. It's just, and you're not gonna be in on that deal, trust me. Uh, it is a waste of your time. You are leveraging your time your knowledge and your resources. That's all we are. That's all we are in this deal. It's Tennis Rep or any business that you're in. You are leveraging you. This, this took a lot <laughs> to become, right? I know all the landlord brokers. Um, I, I know the landlords. I know the Achilles heel. Most of my tents get put to the top of the list because they know the landlord brokers know that I know how to get a deal done, know that my clients are well financed. 
there's all these little picadillos in Las Vegas that this guy has no idea that he's missing out on by not being represented by a broker um, exclusively. Like pick me, pick somebody else, but be with somebody that has like that knows what they're doing and knows everybody. And so do not do not give away your time for free. Do not try to prove yourself to anybody. That's not the way this works. See yourself as a person that's been in the industry for 20 years, that person that you look up to at that lunch and see yourself as that because you will be that by conducting yourself as somebody. Have respect for yourself and your business and your time. Asking somebody to be committed to you the way that you are committed to them and their fiduciaries and everything else is not a tall order. And you will make way for the type of people that we all attract. I have so many in my life right now. He ends every phone call with, thank you, Natalie, and we trust you. And it's a, it's one of the biggest requirements I've ever had. And their, their situation is very important. And there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Um, and their trust means more to me than anything. And you will attract those clients that you hear me gushing all about all over other social media channels. You will attract people that trust you and that will commit to you. It doesn't have to be in writing, but they know they're in good hands because guess what they are. So if you're newer in the business or maybe you just need a little reminder, you got this and you, you don't need to work for people that aren't gonna work with you and appreciate you. What we do matters now more than ever. Have a good one guys, have a great weekend.